So it's Friday in the shop and I'm feeling a little nostalgic and I thought we'd take a trip down memory lane. I've been in the welding business since the mid 90s when I struck my first arc and I can think about the first TIG machine that I actually used in industry. It was a stick machine called a Miller Thunderbolt. We put a TIG rig on it, used scratch start and controlled our argon with a little valve in the torch and we welded all kinds of high quality stainless steel, process pipe, you name it. The reason we use that machine is because it was small, portable, lightweight, and it was relatively inexpensive. And oh, by the way, you could throw this thing in the back of a truck, drive across the country, get it out, and it would still weld. So they were super robust. As times went on, I got to use products like the little Maxstar 91, 152, and 175, which were the original suitcase machines. They didn't have a lot of functions and features. They were super expensive, so the only people that bought them were folks that really had a need for portable welding. As times went on, and I actually went to Miller Electric in the, uh, in the late 90s, I saw all kinds of different units. Um, in the field and, and being used. Um, and the smallest machine at the time was a little unit called the Econo TIG. And um, I don't know if you've ever had a chance to weld with an Econo TIG. They were, they were fine machines for what they were, but the technology was super limited, but they could weld aluminum, right? So fast forward to the late 90s, um, one of the first products that I worked on in the square wave category was the SynchroWave 180. And that was an upgrade from the Econotig because like we just said, they squared off the waveforms, they incorporated new technology, um, they allowed for balance control, which of course adjusts the amount of cleaning that you get with an AC arc. So we saw things really start to evolve. And then, at some point in the early 2000s, we were working on the Max Stars, the modern Max Stars, and the Dynasties. And what I started to see was, although they really made welding easier because the arc was so much smoother, these things are lighter today. You can carry them around. You don't need a forklift to move your machine. I started to see the price creep up. And it started to concern me that at some point machines were going to be priced out of the market. And the only people that would be able to afford them would be the folks that were really seriously welding every day. So that brings me to today. And something that I'm super excited about is this Lincoln 205 square wave machine which again is, an, is, an, is a modern day inverter. It has lots of cool features that we're gonna talk about. And probably the one thing that intrigues me the most is a list price of about 1600 bucks for this package. It is represented by a company that stands behind their product. They've got a good reputation. They've been in business since the early 1900s. And for me to, to think that I could buy one of those units and not have to buy one of the cheaper units that we all know are out there and be able to get common everyday support for it. I'm pretty excited. 1600 bucks. Man, you can't go wrong for that, right? We're going to unbox it. We're going to look at the entire package with all the accessories. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see where it shines. And I'm really hoping that this thing is um, a little impressive unit. Whew. This thing is impressive. Didn't stumble once. That's pretty freaking cool. 